Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. And uh, boy oh boy, do we have another team to go up against. Yikes. <laughs> um, quite the scary team for me, of course. I think the biggest thing to note is probably this, besides Elowood, of course, um, is Nephany, Spendthrift Bow. Low attack speed, double bonds with double ground orders. Yeah, things are gonna go down. And uh, I've actually done some preparation in the back of my head. So I really only have two strategies for possibly not just flat out losing to this team. First one is a turn one attack with Nino onto dual Alphonse, which means we auto sack one unit because after you and potatoes into what will be air here, then Elwood will get danced by Nephany. I believe that's how the AI works. If not, I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Because Peony will be here, who's easy real estate for <laughs> Elowit to kill um, and of course with the sudden panic funny enough Nino's the only one that can dodge it and that it just so happens um, that for the second strategy it kind of hinges on that fact so our second strategy I, this is what I'll be calcing out at the beginning of the video it's gonna take a while so feel free to skip ahead <laughs> I might even just like splice the video in two. It's like the first part is just all the damage calcs and the second one's actually executing. But we're gonna fling Nino. So on turn three, Elo would be down 35 HP so we can swing in Nino here to pick up the kill. But in order to do that, we have to do a very convoluted idea because there is 0% chance for Nino to one-shot dual Alphonse, so my strategy, I have to actually compute to see if this will work, is to bait with Legendary Julia. She doesn't get doubled by dual Alphonse. Um, there's the only debuffs here are Gation Plus and Chill Defense, as far as I'm concerned. Besides the Panic Smoke, that shouldn't happen because we're going to take him out. And of course this Panic Manor. So... We're gonna park Julia here, force Alphonse to attack. We'll have Caden, Peony, and Nino here. As you'll see, that's very important to have that formation. And then, so the double Yunes will potato into Caden. And then we have to deal with, theoretically, two attacks. Um, and if I did my computations correctly, Nino does one round KO Olivia. So the biggest thing there is we need to uh <laughs> we need to not die and that is what we'll be computing here <laughs> all the damage calcs this is probably like as ridiculous as it'll get i would say so the first things first we'll compute the, the I, there's really no point in me computing the first option of just taking out dual alphonse turn one because i know we do barely score the one round KO if we have Nino buffed for at least speed and defense because of low attack res and Caden's buff for plus six attack that will get Nino the one round KO against dual Alphonse but just pointing it out there this guy's pretty tanky he's got ARD defense res and the structures are somewhat difficult to break you could definitely break these two potentially but that's very time draining so I feel like not worth and then Distant Defense, of course, will have Ruptured Sky turn 1 because of Time's Pulse. So Imbued Coma is active, Lull Attack Res is active, and Distant Guard's active. So pretty nasty there. Um, but this Nephany is the real monster. There's a reason why I have to have Nino, Caden, and Peony in that specific formation. Because if she has her Bonds active, she will have an extra plus 12 speed which is just ridiculous for 64 and then against Nino after the lull is 48 Cadence 57 and then Peony 60 so barely skimming by getting doubled and we're gonna take a crud ton of damage from Nephany 
Uh, because of attack speed bond four, as long as she's adjacent to somebody, attack smoke isn't going to do anything. So she's going to have 75 attack, and that's going to do like 40 damage to Nino. <laughs> I believe Nino does live the matchup as long as Dual Alphonse doesn't. I have to check the attack order as well. There's 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 a lot of things to do, so let's get straight to it. First things first is the matchup against Dual Alphonse, so it's going to have 45... Yeah, just straight up 45. Res against Julia's 55, I wanna say. Yeah, but chill attack's going to proc on Julia, so Virtuous Naga. Actually, hold up. Plus six minus one. It's actually equal, but yeah. Uh, it's not greater than, so we'll just have 60 or 55, 52 attack. So we're doing like seven damage. And then we have to see how much he does. <laughs> this is, uh, wait, no, 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 that's not correct. Because light and dark exist. I gotta make sure I do this exactly, because uh, otherwise something could actually go wrong. So again, this might just be an entire episode in and of itself, just doing damage calcs. <laughs> Speaking of which, I still need to finish the series, my gosh. But like the first part of the series, I'll get around to it eventually. <laughs> So 45, 50, so that's 50, 48 res. Okay, let me just write this down on some paper so I don't have to do this again later. I'm going to have to do it later, aren't I? <laughs> Wait, 45, 50, 48 res after light and dark. Okay, that's good. Julia, minus 7, it's going to be 55. And then 52. Yeah, 52. So she's doing four damage, question mark. That's the base amount. Now how much damage does Dual Alphonse actually do? It's got 66 attack, 64. That's Julia. Let me write that down. And then Ruptured Sky is based off of Julia's attack. So, oh, this is complicated. I already forgot Julia's attack stat. What was that 52? Yeah, 52. So that'd be 10 more damage. Plus 10 damage going into 40 res. Wait. Yeah, six, 64. Plus 10 going into 40 is 34 damage. Okay. I, I kind of have a feeling things might not go as planned then if he's only doing that much. Uh, now let's check the matchup against Nino. How much damage is Nino doing against him? So he's gonna, she's gonna have her speed and defense buffs active. So that's 52, 58, 64, 73, 76. Oh my gosh. 76. And that would be 91 attack against Dual Alphonse. He's going to have 45, 50, probably 54. Yeah, there's no way that's not being 54. So 54 res is... Means that's 37 damage, question mark. Sure, we're gonna assume that's the case. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother double checking too much because I don't think the margins will be, oh, living by exactly one HP. I don't think that's happening. Uh, 37 damage is on the counter. How much damage does he actually do to Nino? So he's gonna have 66 attack, right? Yeah, 66 attack. Which is 53 against Nino. So 53 attack against Nino. I don't think joint drive attack will ever come into play here. So let's not consider it. Um, if it does come into play, then L. But <laughs> I mean, what are we going to do about it? Uh, if it comes into play, so be it. I don't really expect to be able to cleanly beat this defense without any losses but we can always give it a go 
Problem is, even if our play works, it's just such a complicated turn four that I don't know if we can pull it off because Dual Alphonse is going to still be on super high HP uh, with Ruptured Sky ready. So we'll see what happens. The one problem with Ruptured Sky is if Dual Alphonse doesn't one shot and you player phase him and since you can't normally can't double because of Invu Coma, then Ruptured Sky is no longer active. So he loses the um, plus five to all stats. So you can and you can double. So that's totally some potential there. But uh, I don't think we're going to be breaking any structures in this match, which is kind of weird to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get back to it. So, did I say 53 attack? Yeah, 53 attack, okay. So Nino's going to have 36. Um, 36. 43, <laughs> 43, right? Something like that. We're gonna say 43 res. Is of Caden. We're gonna have him uh, get Fort Res 4. So there's that. Um, then Ruptured Sky. How much attack does Nino have? Is that 91 attack? So that's plus 18. So he's doing 28 damage. So that means Dual Alphonse does attack Nino. Uh, we at well. Or, sorry, uh, Julia. So this might work out for us. What's the damage ratio here? 34 times 3 is... 102. So damage ratio of... 98 against Julia. Let me write this down. <laughs> I, I think that's correct. I believe the damage calc formula... Or the... Um, net damage formula is 3 times... Damage dealt minus damage taken. I uh, could be wrong about that, but <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter too much. This is a single match, and we can actually just technically afford to straight up lose this match, but ideally we don't want to. Um, that's that's the ideal. Ideally we just perfect clear this map, but it's going to take a lot of prep. <laughs> All right, so now for the juicy part, everything else. Oh my gosh. First things first, do the Yoons live Nino? The answer is no, not even close. She doesn't get hit by Gation Plus, so uh, it's just straight up easy one shots. So Yoon's never gonna attack because Kaden's here, so they're gonna attack into Kaden. Nino's gonna have debuff both of them by seven so that's both 40 58 attack Caden will have that uh 41 res so he lives <laughs> this is so dumb they don't double so that's they don't double correct there's no sources of debuffs that could happen i don't believe so so chaos manifest can't proc okay that's good and we have to just briefly check to see if we can actually murder Elowood. Um, Nino will have 97 attack, so we can just approximate that to be 95 for convenience. So it's like 76. So yeah, that's more than enough to pick up the one shot after he bolt tower damage. And of course, this healing tower is level 6, so all these guys are going to get back to full HP. So we don't um, get much value out of it. Unfortunately, so because it would be nice to get that chip damage on dual Alphonse, but uh, wait, can we double Elwood? If we can double Elwood, we might just be able to aggro rush turn two and then get the turn three bolt tower. Hold up, let's actually check that. I did not consider that actually. That's pretty, that would be pretty clutch if that were to work because we can just immediately go turn two. Uh, setup simple. You just check Nino down here. Kaden over. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. That's not the setup I was thinking of. Uh oh. 
Yeah, it's kind of an uh oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, miscomputed one thing. We're not gonna have defense tactic up. Oops. Because the play to get Nino, Nino, Caden, Peony in this formation is to have Nino here, Caden repose Nino so she's here, dance Caden, plop here, smite Nino, and she can get up there. So we don't get defense tactic. Well, we oh we do get plus three defense. It should that doesn't change up the fact that uh, Dual Alphonse is going to attack into um, legendary Julia though, so we don't have to worry about that aspect of it. Uh, what we do have to worry about are the Yunes. <laughs> yeah, is is this the attack order, which is the issue here? So uh, Yoon going to be doing what did I say again 65 58 against 41 17 so it's a 51 damage ratio against Caden so they're definitely not attacking first if I understand this correctly neither of them are which kind of sucks because that means Nephany gets to attack first I believe in that case but let's check to see if we actually do one round KO the guy. So we're gonna have gonna have the 80, 82, 91, 94. 94 tech is 76. 76 against 43. These of distant guard is sufficient for the kill. If we double, and he's gonna have 58 speed, correct? Yeah, 58 speed against Nino's hyper turbo, blah, 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 turbo max 69 speed. Yeah, we are doubling that. So that is gonna be our best option then. A turn two play, because then we can get the uh, turn three bolt tower damage, which will be huge against dual Alphonse. Uh, Nephany is just going to be a pain. Uh, she also probably will attack from Elowit's spot as well, though, so she will be in range of Bolt Tower. Bolt Tower has been carrying us so hard, but it's such a strong offensive structure when people don't have any techs against it. Okay, now to compute if Nino can actually live. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, first things first, Nino's going to get hit by Chill Defense. Oh, crud. No, 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 no. This does not work. Caden needs to be here. He needs to get the defense tactic buff. I forgot. So Caden's got to be here. Uh, and then, you know, drops back one. Like so? Question mark? Wait, what? Um, I'm thinking about a hybrid play now. No, 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 we can't do that because Peony has to dance in place. Okay, okay. Yeah, there, there's so many things to consider. <laughs> so we can just drop back Nino, turn one. We can just break this with air. Heck, we can just break the fountain amphrey with air. Screw it. <laughs> uh, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll think about that when we get there. Um, now... So Nino's going to have 33, 39, 32 after chill defense. Is that right? 32. Sounds right. 32. Olivia's going to have 46, 39, 46 against Nino. Uh, 46 attack against Nino. So she's doing... I already forgot the defense stat. Gosh darn it. Uh, 32, right? Yeah, 32. So she's doing 14 damage to Nino. Okay. Nephany is going to hit like a truck. Holy cow. I think I already said 75, but let me check. So 4, 7, 12, 19. 23 points of attack, so that's 75, yeah. There's no other attack buffs. 75 against Nino's 32. 
Oh no, I don't think we're living this. <laughs> 75 to 32 is... Why can I not do this right now? 75 into 32 is 43 damage. Okay. And then now we have to compute how much Nino does in damage. Obviously, Olivia is never going to attack first. It's Nephany that we have to be worried about. I think Nephany attacks first, by which case then we just lose the dual funds, I believe. Um, let's see. So, Nino is going to have... So, it's... 52... What is, wait, 52, 50, wait, yeah, 52, 61, 70, 73, 66, I want to say 66 against 34, 66 versus 34 is 32 damage dealt, which means we're healing a measly, wait, Healing a measly 9 from her. Actually, you know, doing that much damage might actually cause things to shift a bit. Hold up. So she's doing 43 damage and do that. So damage ratio is 97, which is one less than Julia's. The matchup against Alphonse and Julia, if I computed that right. So that means in this matchup, since... Uh, all, all four of these guys have a quote-unquote draw matchup where neither unit dies. The tiebreaker, I think that's relevant, is damage ratio, and it's the highest one. So, do all Fon's attacks first, which is great for us. Nothing wrong there. Uh, never procs Wings of Mercy. <laughs> so, <laughs> when we're doing a whopping four damage or whatever... Uh, of course, if we computed the four damage wrong or something, it's all super close numbers, so... Feels bad, man, if we did it wrong. If we did it right, fantastic. <laughs> but, uh... Okay. So, Nephany attacks then for 43. Wait, I forgot to check the Olivia matchup. Does Nino actually one-run KO? Um, 82, 91, 94... And I already forgot what that attack is, 76, and we easily double that, so yeah, that's a one-run KO. So Jill, uh, Olivia is attacking straight up last, then. Okay. Yeah, he's even with Distant Guard active. She's, she's not going to pull it off. She's going to have the Joint Drive attack, though that's a bit frustrating. Um... So we have to we have to have 15 HP at least. So the 43 damage drops you know to 13, and then we heal nine. Okay. So I think this works. Okay. So now we have to prep tactics. How how are we setting this up? I think the most important thing to look at is our position going into turn three, because there'll be Nino here, Kaden here, Peony here. Both Yuns will have gone here attack air will be right here panic ployed mind you because of sudden panic nephany's here alphonse is here so from the get-go the biggest problem is one cooldown moonbow on both of these buddies uh, and they both have 73 defense bulk gosh dang and we have to figure out how to take out dual alphonse as well how much damage Caden is doing like nothing. <laughs> He's doing straight up nothing. No. Uh what is that? 43 45. Wait. 43, 45, 54. <laughs> He's doing like zero. <laughs> Just doing straight up zero times two. Fantastic. Alright, that's not an option. How much damage does Julia take again? 
a lot, right? 34 damage. Nino's going to be the one who gets the heal, I believe, from Mystic Boost. So I think Dual Alphonse is just going to have to... We're going to have to force... Wait. Okay. So, four damage. Let's see if we can actually just pull off the kill, though. Like, like the one shot on him. Because he will be down 39 HP. So what is that? 17 HP left? Something like that. Yeah, 17 HP left. And then... So if we're going to do it from a res perspective, he's going to have 45... 45, 50, 56, 61, and then maybe 65. So then we would need like 82 attack. And Julia would be debuffed. So I don't think that's gonna work out for us. <laughs> um, alternatively, I'm thinking so I think at that point then, if we're in that kind of structure of a setup, I think we just go ahead and break the Ether Amphorae. I don't think the Fest statue is actually going to do anything. But since we're only 26 minutes in, I think we can just go ahead and run with the schedule here. Alright, so... Recap, where if this is all or nothing, because if we screwed up, well, we don't have a secondary plan. Let's actually check to see if we actually beat Elwood again, though. Okay. That's the biggest thing. If we don't do that, then we're just screwed. <laughs> uh, so, Nino is going to have, again, 85, 82, 91, 94 or something. Which is 76 against 43. So, if we double, we kill. He's got 58 speed against our Turbo Max, so yes. it should be set here. Trademark. Do my best. So I believe this is all we do. We can just break this for shizzles and giggles. All right, let's see what we got, boys. <laughs> oh boy, this is something uh, I gotta say. Quite, quite the stunts we're pulling here. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and buff Julia up as well because it's not like it's actually gonna change anything so it, it, it might and then we can regret our life decisions later but uh, here we go smite in and we pick up the kill all right here we go for all the marbles boys <laughs> all right Kaden gets debuffed we're dead. What do you get debuffed by? That's actually a legitimate question. What do you get debuffed by? Did he get... Oh. Did he have more defense than Nino? So he got hit by chill defense? That's probably what it was. So this is a loss. Yeah. There is no way we were getting out of here alive. <laughs> Not a chance, boys. Not with Nephni getting healed up. If she didn't get healed up, we would have like a 1% chance. But, uh, nah, this is not going to work out for us. Unfortunate, but I forgot to check that uh, Nino actually got hit by chill defense. So, yeah, it's definitely over. Can always try, though. Yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> Feels bad. Uh, but that, that's how it goes. Uh, we'll just go ahead and attack there because we can. But we're just screwed at this point. Yep. Unfortunate, but, uh, yeah. I think that was the only error we made there. I think everything else was perfectly fine. Um, unfortunate again. But, uh... We still have enough ETH because we still did the rest of our ETH raids matches this week perfectly. Uh, we still have an exactly enough Ether for one more double match, and that will be for 340 Ether. So I believe even if we get minus 
40 for the remainder of the defense matches we could possibly have for the rest of the season. I believe that's minus 80 or something. So then that would drop us down to 13,190. And then if we get a perfect win, that gets us to tier 27. But hopefully we don't just get minus 40s. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that was an all or, all or nothing play. The quote unquote safer play would have been the turn one dual Alphonse nuke with Nino and then sacking Peony and then struggling from there because uh, Nephany's still hitting like a truck. The Yoons are still hitting like a truck. I, I think we probably would not be able to get out of there with less than, uh, less with, I don't think we were going to get out there with just only one unit loss is my point because going in turn one is a huge overextension against the Elwood matchup. So a bit unfortunate, but that's how it goes. Yeah, I think it was chill defense. Let me uh, check the team real quick because their defenses aren't buffed. So Caden at 34 and Nino at 33. Yeah. So that's what it was. Um, if they, for things to go up better, I would have had to have defense tactic on air and then everything would have worked out fine. Should probably consider that, but I kind of like the setup with air having speed tactic because of different uh, map setups. So a bit awkward. Uh, I think everything would have worked out at that point. It's just the dual Alphonse matchup. That would have been pretty difficult. And then of course, we didn't have to pick up the ether structures, so we could have just ended it straight up there, there and that. Um, so I believe, you know, the Yoons would attack, so we could have Caden take out maybe one of the Yoons, and then could have Nino. I don't know if Nino could actually uh, one shot Nephany, although she'd be at one HP or something. So probably, I highly doubt Nephany would take zero. So, <laughs> uh, although Nino was in buff, so 50, 51. Yeah, she would have been able to one shot that, and then we would have to probably get Legendary Julia um, to pick up the kill. Then there would still be the Yoon, one more, one Yoon sitting around. So I don't feel like that would be right either. Huh? Not sure. I guess maybe could uh, could Air do it? I don't I don't think so. Definitely wouldn't want to leave Nephany alive though because Vantage doesn't really work when uh, we're that low on HP and she will get a 35 heal from Healing Tower. So yeah. Again, unfortunate, but that's how it goes sometimes. That's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye!